Step two to building your own image recognition classifier now that you've got your IBM ID is to generate a service. So assuming you've got your ID all generated and set up, you've got your credentials, head over to console.bluemix.net forward slash catalog. So from here, we can access all of the IBM cloud services. So things like Hadoop Big Insights, the Visual Recognition API, what's an assistant, so to build chatbots, everything that's on IBM cloud is accessible through here. So once you've got those IBM ID credentials, you can actually do quite a fair bit. So now that we've done that, we're gonna step in and actually to start taking a look at the platform. Alrighty, so if we come over to here and hit AI, now you can see you've got Watson Assistant, OpenScale, Discovery, a whole bunch of other stuff. What we're actually rec interested in is the visual recognition bit. So we're gonna hit visual recognition. And from here, we can create our service. Now, a service is just an instance on this platform. So it's something that we're gonna be using and connecting to, to actually test whether or not our image classifier is working or to use our image classifier. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna change the service name and we're gonna say our first image recognition service. Um, you can change your region, resource group, leave that as it is. Uh, and you can see there's a bunch of features here. Now what's actually quite important is down here you've got two different pricing plans. So you've got light and standard. Now what's really important here is that light is free standard actually starts incurring costs. So the light plan is more than enough if you're just getting started. If you wanna start building production scale models, then you might start taking a look at the standard plan, but for now, light's more than enough for, for getting up and running. So once you're here, just hit create, and that's your service created.